Hi, it's Kevin May, the Editor-in-Chief of Focus Wire. Uh, hello to you all. I'm joined here by Atta Goki Ildrin. You're the Strategic Business Partnerships, or you head that for Forta. So welcome, thanks for joining us. So, I mean, your, your, your particular business focuses on fraud and issues around fraud. Why do you think fraud is a particular problem for the travel industry? Okay, well, as, as you probably all know, the, the travel industry is going through an enormous growth online. There's yep. a massive uh, increase in sales, uh, a, a big uh, component of that is, is coming from online, um, the ease of online travel and the ease of online booking. So the, the nature of the market actually growing, uh, we were getting a big increase in fraud just by, by the sheer volume of growth. And at the same time, the, the travel sector, because of its instantaneous um, digital way of transforming the sale, you end up with increased uh, fraud activity. Right, okay. And it's, it's presumably it's growing in severity, which is why you know, people like you are of interest to many people here, right? Absolutely. Well, there's actually been a growth of about 37% in fraud attacks. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that sort of really is um, a big problem for, for the industry. And, um, you know, we're trying to prevent fraud for our, our merchants. Right, okay, so and what kind of fraudsters attack the industry? Are they certain types of groups or people? How does, it, how does the, the kind of the background to it work? Well, well, look, you know, uh, just as we're, we're all sophisticated with technology, the fraudsters are also uh, use technology to their advantage. Um, now that the, the, there's public information available on data breaches, the fraudsters are using the dark web to, to, to actually um, access data, access credit cards, um, and basically be in a position to penetrate this industry. Okay, and you know, when are travel brands most at risk? doing what they do from any kind of attack or some specific types of attacks? Uh, okay, well, there's, there's actually two, two main types of fraud uh, abuse. One is the sort of the refund um, uh, away where basically the fraudsters can steal uh, stolen data and effectively make a purchase and then effectively get the cash refund. And that's sort of really one of the major areas of uh, fraud attack. And the other one is the last minute buyer. Again, we travel the way, way travel works. People can purchase online uh, tickets within sort of, you know, like uh, purchase a, f a flight, you know, just before it departs. Um, once they buy that ticket, they've used that ticket. By the time the actual travel agent or the OTA or the airline finds out about, about the fraud, mm -hmm. the, the basically it's all gone to art and it's all finished. And, you know, and lastly, I mean, how the most fundamental question really then is, you know, how do they protect themselves? What do they have to do? Okay, so I think the, the, the main uh, trend that we're seeing is that the manual review, the manual review component of uh, a lot of the, the travel industry's fraud prevention is basically outdated. Uh, anytime you have a review, uh, a manual review, rule-based um, sort of decision-making, the fraudsters understand that rule and will work out ways of overcoming the, the manual review. Okay, all right, well, best of luck. Thank you for talking to us, Sato, and have a nice day. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.